Today, folks, is Olivia Manchin. Olivia is a co-founder of the Fairgrounds in St. Pete. Uh, bottom line, she's also the director of communication for the St. Pete Fairgrounds. Now, the St. Pete Fairgrounds, folks, uh, bottom line is that they have put together something that's pretty phenomenal. We're talking about exhibits, we're talking about events, we're talking about workshops, and we're talking about a cultural hub uh, for immersible art experiences and, and this is the kicker here, an economic engine for local artists and craft folks. Olivia, welcome to TFNN. Thank you so much for having me, Tom. I'm really excited to be here today. Absolutely. So uh, tell us, number one, about what the public can expect when they're coming to the fairgrounds. Yeah, so Fairground St. Pete is a 15,000 square foot immersive art and technology destination. So this is the first of its kind here in Tampa Bay. So truthfully, hopefully when you come, you've never experienced anything like it. And um, you are, when you, and you know, Tom, when you walk into Fairgrounds, you are leaving reality behind. Yes. So you're no longer any in this perception of time space reality um, we've taken the theme of Florida and made it weird wacky and wonderful so there will be things that you recognize but it'll be in a way that you've just never seen before that's pretty amazing and, and when you take a look at this place folks this place is blocks and blocks now the, and the really cool deal you know no matter where you are in the country okay we talk about the markets every day but what Olivia and her team has done folks okay is taking the aspect of art, creativity, brought it into a space that people can really do well. So talk to me about the aspect. Well, first off, talk to me about how you selected the artist, right, and what you're looking at for your inaugural exhibits. Awesome. Yeah, so for some context, we are um, an anchor tenant. So we're a tenant in this bigger factory. Um, it's called the Factory St. Pete, and it's about eight warehouses, and every warehouse will have something different. And for us, we're building number six, and we are 15,000 square foot of this really huge campus lot, that does. I know. Mm hmm. Um, and for this inaugural exhibit, we have 60 artists that we have hand selected that have gone through a process with Fairgrounds. Um, but we're also a company of artists and entrepreneurs. So there are a lot of people in, within our company that are craftspeople that have made a lot of the exhibits. So when you walk in, you'll be able to see the, the hand and the craft of our Fairgrounds St. Pete team and these 64 artists. Now, let me ask you something is I, I, I believe Mikhail, is that Mikhail? Is he your husband? Is he, he's your husband. So it's a package deal, right? Is that how it works? <laughs> it is. That's and you awesome. Had him on no, I, I, you know, I had Mikhail on, folks, a few weeks ago, and I was looking at your resumes. You have huge resumes. I mean, because it takes a certain type of skill set to do this, right? It does. It does. I think, you know, a lot of it is tenacity. A lot of it is desire, that entrepreneurial spirit. And then um, we also are just surrounded by just some of the most incredible, talented people on our team. Um, our co-founder, Liz Dimmitt, is just incredibly just talented, intelligent. And Tyson Johnson is just a business brain. So we, you know, we are also not only internally motivated, but we're surrounded by some incredible people. Um, and then we've also, I think similar to you, we're, uh, we spent some time up north and I went to Brown University. So I, uh, oh. I also have some really nice schools that I've been able to study at. You had some fun up there, for sure. <laughs> talk, talk, talk to us about the profit share that you have with the artists. How does that work? Yeah, and I think your audience will be really fascinated by it. So our profit model is, as far as I know, unique, and I haven't heard of one similar to it. So essentially, we commissioned these 64 artists. We we They proposed artwork, we purchased it, and it's now at Fairground St. Pete, and okay. people will be able to see it when we open. But as far and as long as their artwork is on view at Fairground St. Pete, they will be receiving a percentage of profits from um, a percentage from our profits. That is so cool, man. I mean, it, you know, what's so great is that and folks, you know, the, the bottom line is that you got to come to this place. Now, now when are you guys going to be opening? Do we have a couple more months? When are we going to be opening? 
We're so, okay, so we're so, so, so close to opening. And what I tell people is to join our Insiders Club, which is our yes. email list. And um, if you go to fairgrounds.art, there you can join our Insiders Club. It's free to join right now, and you will be the first to find out when our tickets go on sale. But it's very, very soon. And Tom, I can't wait to have you when you um, when you're available to come. I uh, listen. I'm there all the time. I build a lot of I, in, on on Fairfield itself. I own a lot of property, so it's pretty funny because I, I build houses there. But it, 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 it's oh. intriguing the way that you've, you've set this whole thing up because it, it's, there's no doubt. I, I've seen the amount of work that you've done. Uh, it's incredible <laughs> the, the amount of work that you've done. I love the idea that you can actually you bring artists in and, to me, you're really teaching them how to make a living, which is really my best friend's an artist. It always has been, do you know what I mean? And, and it's always a tough business, man. You could be the best artist in the world. And it's like, okay, how do you do this? How do you make money at this? You know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. And that's what I love about Fairgrounds is that we we encourage artists to think like business people. We, you know, they're as entrepreneurs themselves, they need that mindset. And um, just like for you, it's something that you teach. And for us, it's, you know, we can teach the art of business and, and being savvy and, and understanding um, that it's, you know, it doesn't have to be overwhelming and it doesn't have to be scary, you know, like it you're does. already doing it. And, when you, when, and I'm sure... The collective that you have, it's much more powerful when you have a collective like that. Yeah, and I'm so glad you're pointing that out. And um, that was a big intention for us in the beginning was to create this alumni and to create this group of artists. And for future calls, we'll do the same. We really think that them having the power of um, being able to share ideas and share their learnings was really important to us. Yeah, there's no doubt. Well, listen, Olivia, we really appreciate it. And folks, okay, so if you Google uh, Fairgrounds St. Pete, you're going to bring up their website immediately. You know, bottom line, get on that list. I'm on that list right now. You know, so just uh, get join the Insiders Club. You just put your email down there. You'll get updated, you know, uh, when they're going to be ready. And uh, listen, man, um, the bottom line is that it's, it's great having you on. You've done an amazing job. And I think it's just fabulous that you're giving so many people an opportunity to have uh, a great living. That's, that's the real bottom line. Never mind about the amount of people that enjoy the art and the amount of younger children that can turn around and say, hey man, I can be an artist. I can be creative. Mm -hmm. I love that. I absolutely love that. And 100%, you've just said it so beautifully. Well, listen, you have a great one, safe one. And we look forward to having you on again, Olivia. I look forward to it, Tom. Thank you so much for the invite. Thank you. Have a great one, have a safe one.